so it's a new week we are now officially March so I cannot believe how quickly February went so today I am going to show you the rest of the February challenge um, entries that we had um, but also we need to get a new order tracker so if you've watched previous vlogs you'll know that we're trying to hit 50 orders a month and this month we actually hit 46 so we were so close but thank you all so much for your orders we honestly cannot thank you enough we absolutely love creating your orders and sending them um this is actually the emily harvey art order tracker highly recommend it's really great having it just on the wall so you can just see how you're doing um you know just a quick glance you don't have to go in your analytics or anything it's just so handy but we hit 46 out of 50 so thank you all so so much um so this is gonna be a very busy week we need obviously a new march tracker um yesterday which you would have seen um we had my mum here and we were doing our notebooks again so we were just printing and cutting and kind of getting them ready um so we've got some ready to go so this is what they look like you guys will see them before if you've seen previous vlogs all i now need to do is the gluing part um so i want to do that this week so that i can sort of just see how they look make improvements etc so that's very exciting um and also i have completely forgotten about mother's day i know i cannot believe it i've forgotten about mother's day cards so i desperately need to do that today that is today's job we're going to be designing or we're going to be printing some mother's day's cards um and then as the week goes on there'll be more exciting things to do um but yeah let's crack on let's get on with mother's day firstly um and then i'll check with you guys in a bit <laughs>
yesterday designing um like i said i completely forgot about mother's day so i really wanted to try and get a fair few designs made so i can upload them and obviously i know some people like to send grandparents um mother's day cards i mean i personally have never done that but i know that's kind of like a new thing um and then obviously you've got 
bump cards, baby bump cards. And yeah, so I was trying to cater for everybody. So I ended up just spending the whole day um, on the computer designing. Um, and then I literally had a break, obviously with dinner, putting the kids to bed. And then I was back at it um, in the evening. So I'm really happy with what I've got done though. I've got so many designs. I'm so, so happy with them. Um, so this morning I'm just gonna score them all, get them all folded, make sure I'm happy with the placement of all the designs and everything, make sure I don't need to make any tweaks. Um, and then I will get them ready to go live for tomorrow. So when you're watching this vlog, they will be live. Um, but obviously I just wanna get all the listings there ready to go so I can just honestly click the button publish and then it's done. Um, so yeah, let me do that first this morning um, and then I'll check with you guys in a bit. So the Mother's Day collection is pretty much all done um, and then all I need to do is literally click publish. I've got a few tweaks to do on the computer but other than that they are done. Um, but what I did want to show you on today's vlog is just the rest of the cards that we made for the February challenge. Um, so if you've watched previous vlogs you'll know we were doing a February challenge which basically was we created a card a day based on the prompt that 
um, that day was. Um, so I think a couple of weeks ago, I did show you the first half. Um, and now that obviously we're in March, I thought I'd show you the second half. So I've got my little book here, um, and my little Bible, as I call it, um, just so I can see all the prompts. And I thought I'd just share them with you. Um, so uh, we all got up to six day 16 um, in the uh, blog a couple of weeks ago, which was Teddy Bear. So day 17 was Mug. Um, we actually already have a few mug designs on the store, but we decided to go for this one, uh, which is have an espressoly good birthday. So I know it is an espresso, um, but that's the one we went for, for mug. Um, then there was baking. And we went for this little cute star baker design. Thought it would be perfect for a little girl who absolutely loves baking. Um, then the next one was cozy. Um, so we went for this design. So we thought cozy, we could do like pillows, cushions, we could do, you know, you know, blankets, throws, fireplace, candle, with so much you could do. But we thought what would be great is to do a hot water bottle, which is perfect for when you're poorly. Um, it's also obviously very cozy in the winter. So we went for this design where we just went for a simple hot water bottle and it just says like better, rest, heal, recover, get well soon, look after yourself and improve. So we really like that design. Um, and then the next one after Cozy was Cocktail. So we went for this design. So we've got like loads of cocktails in the background. And we've just gone for a simple circle. It says, let the celebrations be gin, as in the drink. Um, so I thought that was quite a good one. So we went for that. That was Cocktail. Um, then we went for Countryside. Um, and when we think of the countryside, we think of horses. So we went for this beautiful horse design. Very simple, um, but absolutely stunning. It can work for any horse lover, you know, whether they're young or older. Um, after that was jumper. So we went for this design. Um, so we've got a jumper on there and as if someone has knitted it. And we've got, oh, knit, I missed your birthday. We thought that was a really good one because it does happen, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, we've got that design for jumper. Um, the next one was candle. So we went for this design, which is just a huge cake with a lot of candles on. Uh, we won't have to worry about the heating bill with the amount of candles on your cake. I uh, thought that was quite a funny one, like that one. Um, you'll, you'll hear me say that a lot. I like all of them because, of course, I designed them. So, um, <laughs> uh, But that one is definitely one of my favourites. Um, day 24 was milkshake. So we went for three really um, bright coloured milkshakes with sprinkles um, and just put happy birthday at the top. Uh, then the next one was bubble bath. So we went... I do apologise, I think I'm going to sneeze. Nope, not going to sneeze, sorry. Um, the next one, yes, was bubble bath. And we went for this really cute bubble bath background um, with three little duckies. And it says, I'm quackers about you. Uh, which, yeah, that was, that was another one of my absolute favourites. Um, then we had a vase. Um, so for the vase, we decided to go with this... Um, a simple shelf with a load of different vases on and flowers. I thought we'd do this as a new home card. Um, so very simple um, and just happy new home for um, when you know someone who has got their first house or even their second or third house. Um, it's always good to send a card. Um, and then the last two, uh, we have Hobby. Um, so Hobby, honestly, I was sitting here for ages thinking, well, you've got gaming, you've got knitting, you've got scrapbooking, you've got so many hobbies. Um, and I came up with this design, which, again, is very simple, but I just thought it was a great, it was just a funny one, it really was. So drink wine, everybody needs a hobby, and grapes are one of your five days. So that was the design for Hobby. Um, and then the last one was spring and I just absolutely adore this little hedgehog with all this little spring flowers on his back um, and he's wearing a little party hat as well. And so send in a hedgehog on your birthday. Um, so yeah, that is the last of the February challenge. Um, that was the last of the design. So um, it was really fun joining in on the, on the whole challenge, to be honest. Um, it kind of made me think outside the box um, and it was nice just to do a card a day. So yeah, that is now finished. I can't believe February is been and gone. It's absolutely crazy. Um, and we're March. So I am going to do uh, or print off the March tracker now order tracker from emily harvey r 
start. Um, so then we can get ready for March. Uh, we've got the Mother's Day collection obviously going live tomorrow. And then I have got only a handful of Easter cards. I've got three Easter cards in total. I'm not sure. I think I have showed you guys, but just in case I haven't. So I've got this one here. Very simple bunny one. I've gone for this happy Easter one with like the spring flowers. Um, and then I've gone for this more religious one. But again, with a lot of the spring colours. So I've only got three Easter cards because... I know some people love sending me Easter cards, but other people just don't do it. So it's one of those sort of occasions where it's like, do you, don't you? So we're going to pop those on um, at some point. Uh, we'll see how they go. We can always make more. Um, so yeah, March is looking pretty, pretty exciting. Um, but let me print off the March tracker now um, and then I'll check with you guys in a bit. collection is also ready to go live tomorrow so ticking so many things off the list today which is great and um, also we are March star sellers on Etsy which um, I think it's just fantastic I'm gonna give us a pat on the back because we have only been on Etsy for four months um, and it's all thanks to you guys but we are now a star seller um, and I just want to say thank you thank you for being here thanks for supporting us over obviously on Instagram and our store and also here on YouTube it really does mean the world we absolutely love sharing this journey with you um and yeah we're march uh, star sellers we've got a little badge and everything um which is very exciting we're very very happy um so thank you all so so much obviously we will try and keep our star seller badge if we can um so we'll work hard to do that um and obviously make sure that we are keeping up with everything we need to do over on our etsy shop um but yeah just want to take a moment just to say thank you so so much um yeah i'm just i'm just so so happy i absolutely love this small business that me and my mum have created uh, and we just we just enjoy the journey we really are um but i am gonna end the studio vlog here today um we've literally got everything we need to do done this week um as i say the mother's day collection will be live by the time that you're watching this vlog so if obviously you need mother's day cars head over to the shop um other than that we will see you next week for a new studio vlog thanks for watching thanks for being here um, We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.